Hi guys, today we are here at our home. Um, I don't know if you know, but we were traveling Africa, so somewhere here are the videos on our YouTube channel. But today's video, or I want to show you here the Sai Rusher. Uh, it's a bike. We, we were still looking for a bicycle, an electric bike that we can bring along. And uh, Sai Rusher hooked us up. So we're gonna just check this bike out. Stay tuned, and now we're gonna unpack this baby and see how we can set it together. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home Frank the Tank for the past almost four years. And together with our son Matteo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain, Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. So now let's unpack this baby. I opened already just to have a look. But look at this. There you go. Looks like a big, nice, comfortable saddle. I can see already. Oh wow. Okay, I have to figure that out. This is a big tire. It's a fat tire bike or whatever they call it. It has something on the back to put Matteo maybe. And it has a nice shock system. So I'm not sure if we built that right away. We're just super excited to have received it and stay tuned. Now I'm gonna put it out. So here we have something, the tools kit. Ah, that's interesting. It says here, Sai Rush, it comes with a tools kit. So, oh wow, here's tools, they're not kidding. I think this is a throttle. Yes, this must be a throttle to, you know, use the electric bike. Oh yeah, look at this. This is nice, a mini pump. So you can fill in the tires, but we have our tire pressure system on our truck. Obviously, I think we need this, also nice. And, Ah yeah, it's an electric bike, so it comes with a charger. Oops. And the charger has also the 230 plug. Perfect for our setup. We'll need that later. So let's see, it's well packed, even though the bag had a couple of hits, but I think that's normal. It comes from China, I believe. I can set it down. And we can see it. So this is the size. Uh, this is protection for the front tire or back, I think front in this case. And here it is. Check it out. I'm gonna clean the mess later. So I don't think we will need this protection. So check this out. That's the size of the front tire. Looks like it can go anywhere. So we're just gonna make it free of all the paper. And I see you then when it's free of paper. Nice. Let's open the toolkit. Came with this. And now let's see. So I had to turn this thing. I don't know why, but I guess for the box. It's in the wrong. We had to look at a picture because it doesn't come with a description how to do it. We figured it out and everybody will, but a description would be nice. So after a uh, half hour or something, <laughs> we finally managed to put the, the holder and the, the protection, protection for the wheel and the light. I mean, it's a little, it's not complicated, but you have to, you know, untie everything and then tie it again and then they don't fit really well. Like we said, we're not bike mechanics. But it's all good, we managed that, now we turn it around and fix the tire, and then we should be good to go. So whatever you do, that's what I learned, don't push the brake before, before the thing is in. There 
go. So this is simple, just pick them up, and you pick it up, and then you have your pedals. Run smooth. So we're gonna turn around the bike. Let's see how it does. Wow. Here we go. Looks nice. It's the Cyrusher Komodo and we just built it together. Yes. Now we need some air, I guess, right? Brakes work pretty well. Hydraulic. There we have the keys. Trash, two keys, one for Isabella, one for me. Now it should be out. Ah, I should take the battery out. So we are charging it and it says on it, self-explaining red means it's not charged and when it's green it's charged so let's see how long that will take so now we have tested the bike a little bit off-roading and i have to say i'm surprised it's not that bad um let's start with the bad stuff uh downhill after like two kilometers the back brake started smelling and got a little hot so it's probably too much weight for going downhill constantly but uh, fighting uphill, you did a great job. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can see it was all wet, a little dirty. I basically have to say I was full throttle all the time because it's so much fun, except downhill. I took away the, uh, the engine even, like I went in zero. So yeah, it does a great job off-roading. This is what we have it for just where we park somewhere to get out of the dirt go shopping or whatever the side Russia has also a nice back rack unfortunately for our son the back rack is a little too wide so all the normal regular cheap seats don't fit so we are still we still don't know so maybe somebody has a hint which back rack we could use for my son as a seat and uh, yeah so Let's talk a little bit about this lovely display. I don't know if you can see. It's called King Meter and you see I'm in five. I just stopped, but by clicking on those buttons up and down. So just here we have a horn, a light, sorry. Here we have the horn, you can hear. Then here you have the speed control. You can go up to five, which allows me by doing a trick that, uh, Sai Russia, you can see on the webpage, you can go up to 35 kilometers an hour. If you don't do the little trick, you have 25 kilometers an hour, but you reach this with all the speeds except I think two and one. And this would be obviously the Echo. So I tested the bike already. You can see here 52.9 uh, at 47 kilometers. So let's say 50. I had to charge the batteries first time but I'm like again I'm, I'm always going in five full speed then here we have the Shimano seven speed it says here uh, which basically I'm also in the highest gear all the time with the fifth but you can also gear down and uh, uphill it's pretty convenient and it comes if you want to it has first of all it has the zoom brakes which I said already the back one got hot downhilling but you have here, I don't want to touch it now. You have here a throttle. Hold on. I touch it for you, but I have to turn off by three seconds and it's off. So here you have a throttle. So if you are in five and you do this, uh, yeah, you better hold the bike. <laughs> you can use this with that throttle only without pedaling. And as a Pedelec, usually that's how they deliver. It comes. Um, yeah. What's really nice is obviously this. I come from uh, from my, my motorcycle, so this uh, uh, fork is amazing. Uh, I went downhill and I'm I have a lot of weight. Who knows me? So it did a great job. The saddle goes really up. It's easy to get in and out. Uh, here you can see uh, where the battery is hidden. It's locked with a key. Here you can charge without taking the battery out. You have a GSX 200 uh, 
uh, back spring, uh, which really worked. Uh, I'm not a super professional rider, but it wasn't really that. It was not like on a hard tail, let's put it that way. And uh, yeah, you have tail lights. Uh, we have it really muddy. Uh, I'm still a little dirty now and wet. Here you can maybe see. <laughs> But uh, it covers pretty, it was a really nasty weather, let's put it that way. It covers uh, really the dirt. So yeah, the Komoda from Sai Russia, um, I'm really satisfied. And the big tires are amazing, they swallow everything. I mean, here we, I drove through these forests. Uh, you see the hills here. And up and down inside I go, I went through uh, really muddy and uh, water holes on the on the green areas uh, Yeah, still good So I want to test some more So this is what I was talking about you go to five That's how I start because I'm a heavy guy and now I don't I don't use the paddles I just push the throttle And I don't use and it's running but I can also stop and then it's nothing, it's stopping, and I can pedal along and it starts like a normal paddy leg. So yeah, this is the Sai Russia Komodo. So it's an easy pedal up. That was a hill. And uh, yeah, not a problem. Nice. So it's really looking a cool bike, but one thing, the paddles in the curse, they are really low, so you gotta be careful in tight curse. But it's more tended to be a cruiser. But I like this eye rusher. It's pretty cool, the light is on, looks amazing. And uh, yeah, the stand is also practical, you can, have it on the back, it's not in the way, and it won't break. So yeah, pretty cool bike. Uh, we store uh, the bike, or half motorcycle I would even say, on the back of our truck and bring it along. So yeah, a nice, nice little toy. Sai Rusher Komoda. Boom! That's how the Sai Rusher Komodo is stored away on our truck. So what do you think guys? Let us know here on YouTube in a comment. See you when we see you and enjoy the ride.